Welcome back to the Swang Low Podcast Show, man. We back at the round table. You know what I'm saying? With some new updating news on this situation with Nicki Minaj getting arrested in Amsterdam on drug possession charges. Now, apparently, I guess she was um, getting ready to um, get on her airplane and leave up out of there. And mysteriously, out of nowhere, out the blue, they wanted to search her her plant her her property that was on the plane and her crew you know so they stopped her before um they was able to get on the plane you know let her know that um they was instructed to search her her property and the people that was with her because she was under suspicion of being in possession of drugs now where they got this information from to just you know out the blue just search Nicki Minaj stuff is a mystery you know, and I guess it will remain a mystery until further um, reports come out on this investigation that's going down on this situation right now, man. Um, she was held um, in custody by police officers in Amsterdam. So there hasn't been any further um, reports that has come out about this situation other than her being in possession of drugs. And that's why she was being held in custody. Um, I'm pretty sure by now she has been able to consult a lawyer. Hopefully she has, you know, but man, this is what y'all got to remember going to these other countries is different. You cannot go out to these other countries, man, um, thinking that it's all good. If you're in possession of illegal substances or not, you're not in California. You're not in other, these other states where you can, you know, have that type of stuff on you. And it's not an issue. But in these other countries, it's a whole different ball game. You know, they don't do nothing like how we do. And y'all got to be mindful of that. You know, so when you're traveling around, you know, to Russia, look, think about everybody that go to these other countries, man, that end up getting detained, you know, and, and, and jailed like the the female NBA, WNBA basketball player that they had just recently let go not too long ago that they had over there captive. I think she was in Russia somewhere, you know, for having a vape pen. Now, imagine getting locked up for having a vape pen, for having, um, you know, something that you wouldn't think would be a harm against the law or anything. But you got to remember these other countries, you know, they abide by different uh, guidelines, man. And a lot of their guidelines revolve around their religion. So you got to be mindful of that and you have to be respectful of these um, different countries. You know, when you go to them, you know, you stop thinking that you can get over and get under uh, uh, on everything. It's not going to always work. So when you find yourself, you know, in a compromising position, you know, in custody of the, these foreign officers that can barely speak English, you know, and you trying to get a lawyer, you trying to get a family member on the phone, you trying to get anything that 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 brings you comfort in knowing that you're going to be all right, that they're going to come and aid you and get you back to safety or, you know, in your safe haven where you're supposed to be. Outside of that, man, you in a foreign country, you're way out somewhere, man. Stop traveling around to these other countries, man, thinking that, you know what I'm saying, that it's all good because it ain't. A lot of these other countries really don't like Americans. So just just imagine you being black, having a little bit of fame up under your belt, and you're an American going to these other countries, and they looking at you like, this motherfucker think he all that. You think you all that? Okay, well, we finna show you that you ain't shit and you're out here in our country and we gonna treat you like the piece of shit that we view you as. You know what I mean? So y'all got to be mindful of that, man. You know, it, it can seem inviting because they might show you these little uh, uh, traveling spots in these other countries where a lot of these celebrities tend to go to, you know, but they not telling you that they paying for top-notch security when they get out there. You feel me? And they're going to all the places where it isn't inhabited by people that's hungry, starving, and to get you for what you got. Period. That's the part of the story that they're not telling you. They make everything look so glamorous. And, you know, those of us that, that come on, we, we look at these people like they're saints, man, because they got money, because they got fame. You know, they got more um, exposure than we do. We just seeing them more. 
So we put more on these people than they really deserve. You know what I'm saying? So we got to stop looking at them because they traveling over here and they living in these expensive resorts and all this and that and, and, and stop comparing our life to them and wanting that so bad to where we will cut the next person throat to get it. You know what I'm saying? Even stab a best friend in the back to get it. You know, it, it ain't all what it's cracked up to be, I'm sure. You know what I mean? So, and I mean, as much fame as Nicki Minaj got, you know what I'm saying? She's still running into the same problems that us normal people would have in a foreign country if they seen us. We black. You feel me? We're not from out there. They know it. They spot us a mile away, just like we are able to spot a foreigner a mile away when they come out here to America. You know what I'm saying? Or somebody come to one of our neighborhoods that ain't supposed to be there because he don't walk like us, talk like us. You know what I'm saying? Probably don't smell like us. None of that. You know what I mean? So people just got to be mindful, man, and stop, you know, maneuvering around with your guard down like it's all good. You know what I'm saying? Because these people is going out their way to show you, you know, in more ways than one that you're not equal. You're not liked. You're not loved. You're just accepted, you know, because of the perception that the, the rest of the world is going to get of me if I treat you a certain way. You know, but some of them, they don't care. You feel me? And them people out there in Amsterdam right now is showing us, Nicki Minaj, and the whole world that they don't care about her star status, who she is, how much money she's supposed to have, or any of that. They don't care about the glamorous life. None of that. And they showing it. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, I just wanted to bring this to the round table to all my people. I love y'all, man, but I'm going to keep y'all updated on all the you know, breaking news, you know, and updates on the current um, situations that's going on in hip hop and entertainment, you know, and the world alike. You know what I'm saying? But please remember to like, comment and subscribe, you know, to the Swing Low podcast show, man. Do rock cream. You know, we are the new way. You feel me? Point blank, period. It ain't no getting past us. Ain't no stopping us. None of that. We getting stronger and we growing. I love y'all and I appreciate y'all, man. Thanks for tapping in. Please continue to tap me into the Swang Low Podcast Show. It's yours truly, The Rock Creep. Love y'all. To the next episode, Triple A.